Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today we're doing a part two of the community palette BYOP. Basically, if you haven't seen my last video, real quick, I'm just gonna run you through what we did. I basically took this idea from Yesica on Instagram. Jess, if you're watching this, thank you for inspiring this. And my friend Lee Basket Case Beauty also did this one. I'll link everyone's Instagrams down below and their posts. And basically Jess's idea was she asked people on her stories what eyeshadows she should include in a BYOP and she curated one. So I thought I would do my own spin on it. And in the first video, we created this beautiful palette together. And this is what it looks like. It is so stinking pretty. And honestly, not what I was expecting, to be honest, but I really enjoy it. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. And yeah, I just wanted to do a look with it. Right, to get started, I'm gonna zoom y'all in a bit closer and I have my base makeup done already, except for blush and highlight. So we're gonna just focus on the eyes. Rightio, I actually have no idea what kind of look I wanna do. Like, obviously it's gonna be more like, blue purple themed. I'm thinking definitely like adding a bit of yellow like on the inner corner, kind of like here. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna have a bit of a play around to be honest. First I'm just gonna prime my eyes using the Balani eyeshadow primer. I recently bought a new one because my other one was so old and my gosh, looking at this primer when it's all fresh is so nice. <laughs> it really makes me realize that I probably was using expired eyeshadow primer on my eyes for a very long time. Ew. I'm gonna start this look off by using banana cream from Glam Shop in my inner corner, like inner crease. To be honest, I know that Lee and Jess's palettes also came out very like purple themed and purple heavy. It turns out purple's just a really popular color and this is what we want as a beauty community a palette to look like. And to be honest, I'd probably buy it. Maybe with a few adjustments but I actually really love this color story. I think it's super fun. So we're first gonna take banana cream and put it right here. Just kind of fluff it on the inner portion of my lid. I don't really have a solid direction for this makeup look, but oh, this yellow is so pigmented, bro. If you need a good yellow single shadow, I mean, I don't really buy from Glam Shop anymore. I don't support them anymore, but you know, if you need something that's easily accessible in the, the EU, uh, Glam Shop, I can't deny man, their mats are good. Part of me is thinking of doing like an alternating thing, like yellow here and yellow like out here, and then purple and like, I might, mm, you know what, I'm gonna do that. Might be a bit risky, but we're gonna try. So I'm just gonna, this is probably not the right brush to do it with either. I'm gonna take a bit of banana cream also, what a bloody adorable name. Ain't that the cutest name ever? And just fluff that on the outer portion. This year I really want to incorporate more BYOP content on my channel now that I have like a better lighting setup. And I feel like I would really enjoy doing that. So if you have any BYOP or like duping the vibes recommendations, I would really like to get some. But yeah, that's the base of this look done. So, oh, you know, we could do a fun graphic liner situation with this. No, okay. One thing at a time, Sky. <laughs> Let's use the palette first and then think about any add-ons. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking sequins from Lethal and I'm gonna be putting that on my, like, kind of like the, this area, the outer part of my crease. I need to know the specific name. It's like near my brow bone, basically. And we're just gonna put that there. And we're gonna be quite careful because purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. So you don't really want them to blend together too, too much. Because that's just gonna cause a bit of a nightmare. And I do want to use that shade Obscurity as well. I want to use as many shades as possible, but that will be kind of a challenge. I want to challenge myself. I don't often use these colors together. I feel like I look like a tropical bird. I have made choices. Or I look like a football team. Either could go, to be fair. This brush previously had black eyeshadow on it because I did my boyfriend's makeup and I turned him into the Nightman from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So I'm just gonna hope and pray that there's no more black after I've rubbed it on a towel. All right, we're gonna go in with Obscurity right here from the Glaminatrix Nocturnal palette. 
and I'm gonna be kind of just patting this should I pat it all over my lid yeah or at least like where it meets the purple it's okay because this is gonna be a base for the other eyeshadows so it doesn't really matter if it looks perfect. We're going to be putting a lot of shimmers like layered on top because I've been really liking doing like an all matte base and then having fun with shimmers just layering. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm first going to take the shade Gide, which is this beautiful multi-chrome from the Glaminatrix You Beauty palette. I could use a brush, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to take my finger with it and just lightly press that where I've placed the yellow. Oh hell yeah. As much as I love an all matte look, recently I've been loving playing and layering shimmers on top of things and just kind of like blending it with my fingers. It's kind of like finger painting. So I feel like obscurity and that lethal matte purple, they kind of blend in together a little bit. Like it doesn't really look like I put two different shades on my eyes because they kind of both have that grayish like undertone to them, but it's okay. I will fix it with shimmers. Alrighty, now for the purple that I have put on my brow bone right there, I'm gonna be putting uh, Glazed from Cleona. And again, am I gonna do this finger painting? You know what, yeah, I'm doing it finger painting style. That worked out in my favor last time. So we're just gonna layer that on top right there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, see, look at that. Shimmers always blend together easier than like mattes. And because Glazed also has like a gold pink sheen, it like meshes together really nicely. It looks super dimensional. Okay, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe this doesn't look good. Trust the process. You know, it's a journey. It's about the journey, not the destination. That's giving very live, laugh, love. I'm thinking, I really want to use green somewhere in this look, but honestly, probably my inner corner is where I'm gonna do it. But we could put a green on the lid. I think for the sake of using as many shades as possible, as much as I really wanna use night vision, I'm a bit too scared that it's gonna ruin everything that I have just done. So I'm gonna be safe and not use it. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm gonna take this shade Luna, also from Glaminatrix Nocturnal. Nocturnal is highly uh, represented in this palette. There's like three shades from it. Okay, but I'm gonna take Luna on my finger and I'm gonna just pat this on the outer portion of that. I don't really use this shade all that often. I don't know why. These are just shades that I don't really tend to reach for because of how grun- well, like I like grungy colors but grungy blues aren't really like my thing. Like if I'm going for grunge, I typically go for like green or like oranges, like warmer tone grunge. But we're gonna be using night vision. Okay, this could be a very big mistake. All right, I'm gonna take that on my fingy. And I'm gonna put that on my lid. Not really sticking to my lid. I find that night vision is so finicky. As pretty as it is, it needs to have a tacky base. So let me go in with some Furinay Pixie Epoxy. This look is all about experimenting. It's so all experimenting, babes. This look is kind of serving throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Because quite honestly, I don't know where I'm going with it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use Coalescence from Terra Moons now. I'm gonna layer that like on the inner part of that. And I think because this is so bright, it will kind of save it. You know what? Because I did that with night vision, I think for Luna on the outer end, I'm gonna use a little bit of moon dust from Glam Shop, but not too much because this is an iridescent shadow. I'm literally just patting it on my finger. And I'm just gonna gently pat it on top of Luna. Because again, Luna does have that really deep base, which is stunning, but this look is so like, sparkly and bright that it needs to kind of be amped up a little bit. This is honestly not the look I was expecting. I was fully expecting like a classic sky look in the sense of like different color here, dark out here, 
fun multi-chrome lid shade, maybe a fun like lower inner lash, inner lash, inner corner, lower lash line. But you know, I've been experimenting a lot with like shapes and col shapes and colors uh, placements. And you know what? Putting a bit more glazed on. I really like this finger painting approach, you know. I feel so, it's very painterly and very like watercolor-esque. Okay, and for my inner corner, I'm gonna use Ceres. And I think that's gonna tie everything together. Cause it's that denim blue with a peachy gold shine. Oh, that is so fun. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of moon dust, that iridescent shade again, and just kind of like layer that again on top of Ceres to give it that blue sparkle as well. Oh, I just really am enjoying layering. The, the grungy like lid with the pastel-y like everything else is really fun. Okay, um, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I will come back to show you the final look. Okay, I have finished up the rest of my face. I also took off my cardigan because I feel like the pink was kind of clashing with it a little bit. But if you're curious about what I used on my face, I used the Odin's Eye Solomon Gel Eyeliner in 3. I don't know the actual name of it, just know the number, but it's the yellow one. I use that in the outer portion, and in the inner portion I use the Colourpop Crybaby Creme Gel Liner. For my cheeks, I have a bit of a light dusting of the Lethal Nectar blush, my pride and joy. I love her very much. For my cheek highlight, I am using Kaleidos Moon Cruiser. And for my lips, I am using something that's pretty new to me. This is from Rare Beauty, and it's the Stay Glossy. Is it called Stay Glossy? It's the glossy and lip balm in Nearly Natural. And I think this is like my new favorite like gloss. But yeah, this is the completed look. Honestly, it's so, I mean, I use these types of colors all the time, but like this placement and this like application method and also like the dark lid, I mean, it's different, it's weird, but I really like, there's something about it that I really like. Like it kind of reminds me of like watercolors and like, just all the different particles of like shimmers and stuff. It just, it's just making me feel really excited and really happy. I, I just, that's, that's it. That's really it. I really like this look a lot. <laughs> yeah, with that all being said and done, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know, did you like the look that I created with our little community palette? Do you like how the palette came out? If you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky right here. I post all my looks there and I'm active on there every single day. And if you'd like to support me further, I do have my own small business, Rain Cloud Candles Co. We are a small queer owned business based in the UK and we make handmade candles and wax melts. The link to shop will be down below along with our social media if you'd like to support us. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.